So in our previous video, we have seen how we can configure your VNet by using your Azure CLI and a portal. Now here we are going to see how we can configure the same by using your Azure PowerShell. So very first, we are going to start with our PowerShell here. Uh, when you move into your PowerShell, you can find here we have PowerShell ISC and also we have a PowerShell. I'm going to use my PowerShell ISC as this particular ISC will provide me to increase the font size as well as I can automatically uh, use my commands which I have. Also, it will list me all the commands which generally we have into our PowerShell. So this is the advanced feature of your PowerShell. So I'm just going to use this and go for yes because I've started using an administrator account over here. So what we need to do is very first, as we discussed into our previous video and already we have seen practically, to use your CLI, we need to download the CLI. Then we can use it. Same way here into PowerShell, we need to install the package of your Azure. And again, if I'm talking about this, installing the package, generally you have two different package for your Azure. That is your Azure RM and your Azure. Now, what is the difference between your Azure RM and Azure? Azure is the old package for your old classic version of your Azure. So right now, the version which we are using, this is your Azure RM version, and this is the Azure RM window. So what are the packages we are creating over here, and what are the resources we are using over here? They all are of your Azure RM. The old package, or we can say the old portal which you had, was your manage.windows.azure.com. This was the classic uh, portal or you know the old portal we had for your Azure. So here you can find this is my old portal here. These are the list of services we had. And um, if you move into any of your service, you can find this is the virtual machine service. This is a cloud service you have. This is storage network, whatever generally you have it, we can see here all the items, right? So this was the classic version. And now which we are using is your portal, is your latest version of your Azure RM. So we can either install the package for your Azure or we can install the package for your Azure RM, right? So while installing the package, you need to ensure that um, you are defining a proper name for it. Now I'm going to install the package with command install package hyphen name and then you can define the package name. So if you want Azure, you can use Azure. If you want the latest one, Azure RM, you need to define Azure RM and hit enter. Now when you install a package or when you, you know, try to install a particular package, first it will find into your Windows container. If you find it into Windows container, it will directly install it. Or if it is not available into your existing Windows container, it will search for the packages into other repositories. Right now you can see it is searching for the package in other repositories where uh, generally you have a new repository or the you know third party repository as Nugget, which is by default installed into my system. If it is not there, it will ask you to install that Nugget first. If you install that particular nugget, it install a repository into your system with name PS Gallery. So it's showing you this PS Gallery has this particular software installed. So do you want to install it from your PS Gallery? So I'm saying yes. So now it will install my package from your PS Gallery of your uh, repository which is created and which is installed by your nugget. So you can see here it is installing our Azure RM. So it has been completed. The Azure RM version is 5.0.1. And if you're installing it for the first time, it might take little time. It might take 10 to 15 minutes to install this Azure RM. Now I have installed it. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, use this particular Azure RM module as well. So I'm just going to install the module of it with name. Azure RM. Hit enter. Now it will install this module so that we can run this commands of this particular Azure RM on our portal. 
and uh, one more thing what you need to do is always ensure that whenever you are using your PowerShell so you should not face any difficulties or you should not face any kind of errors popping you for you know you cannot run any scripts into this PowerShell so always ensure that you are enabling the execution mode to run the scripts so for that we will give the command set execution policy execution policy to remotely signed and hit enter it is asking you you are changing the execution policy it might be you know uh, sometimes you may face problems or uh, your protection can be you know you are violating the protections which is provided to you I told you yes okay because I need to run the scripts on this particular PowerShell so I'm going to run all the scripts here so this you should enable so that you don't face any difficulties so now moving back to our actual topic here I'm going to run my Azure so very first we need to log in into Azure as we have also done into our previous video I'm going to get login by giving the command login Azure RM account okay so this is your Azure account the old classic version this is your RM version I want to get login into my RM account hit enter it's asking you for credentials I'm going to define my credentials here and the password hit enter so now you can see we are logged in here it is showing you the complete detail of your Azure cloud means you are logged in now we'll start with our practical where I'm going to create a new resource group that is RG3 so recently we have created a group into our previous video that is RG2 I'm going to add one more using my PowerShell so for creating a new resource group I'm going to create a new resource group into your Azure RM so always the command will be starting from Azure RM new Azure RM resource group we have I'm going to create it with name and here you need to define a single uh, hyphen sign and I'm going to define the name of my resource group as RG3 under location you can define any location I'm going to define Central India or we can define East US itself hit enter now you can see it is showing you the provisioning status as succeeded and you can see here uh, once I refresh it you will be finding RG3 over here now same way I want to create a virtual network into it so for that again we'll be back to your portal and here I'm going to give the command new as your RM your virtual network it's difficult to use the virtual network I'm going to use and here I'm going to create a new virtual network so the virtual network name will be VNet1 okay and now if we add this particular VNet1 which I'm going to use I'm going to add it into resource group name RG and then we need to define the location where we are going to add it that is my same location in which we have added our RG3 that is East US and again we need to define um, the name we have defined okay so this is what exactly we have to define we need to create our virtual network with name this is VNet3 we need to create because we already have VNet1 okay so vnet3 resource group name rg3 and the location is east us if again you want to define um, address prefix so you can also define the address prefix so here i'm going to define it as 10.0.0.0 16 hit enter so it is showing you the output which you are able to see over here that may get you know changed or modified in future releases which we are going to get for your azure rm so you can see here it is showing you the provision status is succeeded and this is the address space which we have added here so you can see into your script rg3 
and I'm going to refresh it out you got VNet 3 created over here with your address space as 10.0.0.16 now next what we need to do we need to create subnets into it so for adding the subnet I'll again move to my PowerShell okay we'll give the command new or we can also give the command add but right now I'm going to create a new subnet so new Azure RM network virtual network sorry virtual network and subnet configuration hyphen name so here we are going to create a public and address prefix I'm going to define as 10.0.0.1.0 slash 24 okay and not other things okay fine so this is what exactly I'm going to define and if I want to define my uh, virtual network as well here so okay so I'm going to create this particular public network and I want to add this public network which we have created into our virtual network which we had so add Azure RM network virtual subnet config with name public to your virtual network that is we have created vnet3 so address prefix already we have added here so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get an uh, information I'm going to store one uh, topic over here that is my I'm going to store get Azure RM virtual network information of your VNet 3 of your resource group RG3 over here and I'm going to store it into a variable VNet 1 okay or VNet 2 whatever you require hit enter now I'm going to use the same command but in spite of giving VNet 3 I'm going to use VNet to hit enter so it's asking you for the prefix for it I'm going to add the prefix 1.0 slash 24 hit enter and you can see the subnet has been added as a public subnet into your portal let us check I'm going to move into RG3 refresh it out over here move into VNet 3 We are going to move into subnets just we need to refresh it out again I'm going to refresh the same and uh, again we'll be moving back to our VNet okay into VNet I'll be moving into my subnets and you can see the subnet has been created with 10.0.1.0 which is a range we have provided over here right and now I'm going to create one more if you want to add the same again the same thing you are going to do I'm going to clear out the screen here I'm just going to use a private network and here I'm going to use it as private vnet2 okay I'm going to add it prefix I'm going to define as 2.0 slash 24 hit enter and you can see the second one is again added let us move back to our portal here and I'm going to refresh it out move back to your virtual network resource group rg3 and I'm going to refresh the same vnet3 into vnet3 I'll move into my subnets and here you can see the private is again created so this is how generally we have seen how we can use your PowerShell and how we can install you know Azure RM into your PowerShell get login into it and create your virtual network 
So same way we can manage our other services as well by using this PowerShell as well as CLI mode. So depending upon the interface which you want to you know use like your CLI or PowerShell or portal, you can use this interface and manage your Azure resources. So into our next video, we are coming up with more of your uh, you know resources as well as more of your services generally we have into your compute. So from there, we are going to start with your compute services.